So this next video, we will go over job accounting on how to turn it on and how to add and delete users out of it. Once you get into this area, to the job account setting, you're gonna open this up. And as you notice, our accounting's off. So we are gonna turn on job accounting. Hit okay. Now we are gonna go and add a user. If you already have job accounting on, you're obviously gonna skip the first part and just jump to this next one. So we're gonna go job accounting local. We are gonna to go to accounting list and we are gonna go add. So the account name, let's just say it's Joe. Hit okay. And my account ID that I'm given is going to be, we, we like to keep it with the four digit number so we're gonna go 45, 46, and you hit okay. Now, if for any reason you don't want Joe to do any color, if you notice here, all the restrictions are fully open. If you don't want Joe to do any color, you can go copy restriction, full color. You can either reject him or you can limit him to a number of color copies and you would just open up the counter limit and put in a number. So let's say, for example, 20. You can put in 20 and then hit OK. Or you can do reject usage and he won't be able to do any color. That's an option that you have if you know that somebody's doing more color than they need to be doing. And you would do the same for the single color and the print restriction on the color. This next screen down, you don't have to worry about. So it's just mainly these three right here that are very important if you don't want certain people to do color or you can limit them. Now, once we have our name, our account ID, we just hit save. And now it's gonna save it inside the list. So when we get out of the whole area, our screen is now gonna look like this. So now Joe has to come up and put in 45, 46, log in, and now he's ready to make copies. When you use the job accounting, you have to remember on the driver side, it has to go into the driver or it will not work. Because if you send a job without the job accounting code, it'll beep at the screen here and say incorrect uh, ID account. So that remember has to go on the driver side on the computer. And that's how you add the job accounting to the copier. So this next step of the video will show us how to input job account ID number into the driver. Once again, this is Windows 7. So, but on Windows 10, if you go to the bottom left corner, the search bar, just type in CON for control, hit enter, and then the control panel will open up just like this. Go to the view device and printers, and then you'll see all your printer icons in here. So what you wanna do is right click on the device, printer properties, device settings, go to administrator. This top tab at the right, job accounting. Turn this on, click on the job accounting, and then go ahead and input your ID code which in our case was 4546. Hit OK. Hit OK. I like to close all this out and then get back into it again. Then right click, printer properties again, and print your test page. And as you can hear in the background, our test page is printing out. If you had an incorrect code or forgot to put in the code for whatever reason, the machine would beep at you and tell you that it's invalid uh, account ID. One last thing. If for any reason when you go into device settings and you do not see this administrator and you see something other than this, chances are then you are either being shared out from the server or you were loaded up with an administrator rights, meaning that you're just a user on the computer end and you have no rights to change anything. That's where you would have to get with your IT person 
or the one who manages your computers to allow it to, for you to put in the code. So, but if you see this administrator, then you should be able to do what we just did. And that is how you input it on the driver's side.